University Hall is a three-story brick building, um, and it's probably one of the first buildings that you see right when you pull into the main entrance of campus. Um, and in here we have nursing and education. I really like University Hall and my majors in here, so I spend a lot of time in here studying. We do have little um, study areas designated. We have a vending machine, so if you're here late, of course you can use that as well. We also have media services, so if you need to rent out equipment or you want to check your email or print off some papers, then you're more than welcome to do that. Um, this building is open 24 hours, so that's a really great bonus for students that are maybe procrastinators or um, you, you just want to somewhere else to study besides your room. The massage chairs are definitely the best thing to do on campus right after taking a very stressful test because it relieves a lot of tension. Some of the best things about the JSAC are just things people actually don't know about. There's a workout center, the massage chairs, you can play ping pong, pool. There's places to just go hang out and be with your friends. Um, some of the coolest things are you can just purchase movie tickets for $5. They're always having deals to where you can get uh, free tickets to Green Jackets games or going to the Georgia Aquarium for really cheap or going to the Riverbank Zoo for really cheap. There's always deals to, to do something or go somewhere. You got so many different cultures, diversity, you know, everything is so different in the JSAC. You go in the JSAC, one day you might see a bunch of Greek kids, the next day you might see a bunch of baseball, softball, volleyball players. I have friends from Estonia, Scotland, America obviously, I have friends from Australia, New Zealand, Norway, Switzerland. I mean, ASU is a very um, multicultural campus which makes it a lot of fun because you meet people from everywhere and you have new experiences and you can travel the world just by meeting people you meet here. The Maxwell Theater is a 700-seated theater that plays host to several different things on campus to include the Lyceum Series, which is funded by the Office of Student Activities. My favorite thing about Maxwell is that they allow the students to see anything put on in here for free with their valid JAG card. They play host to many of the different student-produced plays here, so the students write, perform, and um, they do all the costuming and everything like that and they put it on here at the Maxwell. The Department of Music is what's housed in the Fine Arts Center. It's um, very, very friendly in there. You're very likely to catch many of your peers playing their instruments, anywhere from the flute to like huge cellos and they're always willing to give you a nice tune. I love Science Hall. Um, there's several different study rooms that you can go into. I can print any lab reports that I need to print out. Um, it's not just home to biology majors. Um, Psychology is on the first floor, um, biology is for second floor, and chemistry and physics is on the third floor. People that are, help me with my um, honors thesis, their office is in there. My um, advisor's office, of, of course, is in there. There's aquariums that you can check out inside with a lot of creatures and fish. There's a um, a creek down at the bottom that helps to simulate the uh, Savannah River, which is really cool that you can just go look at any time. So there's a lot of different things in there. Austin Hall is particularly special to me because this is actually houses my Department of History. Um, so I guess what really goes on in Allgood Hall for me is, you know, my professor's offices, of course, my classes mostly are in Allgood Hall, as well as my advisor's office, which um, they're all located in, you know, one wing, and it's, it's very structured where you can maneuver with your majors, or maneuver with your departments, um, and the rest of Allgood Hall is set up that way too. Communications is in communications little corner, and business, and um, all the other departments that are in Allgood Hall, there are a lot. Washington Hall houses our undeclared department. 
Um, so if you come into college and you don't know exactly what you want to do, that's totally fine. If you don't feel like changing your major 17 times, you can start out with undeclared and they will help you uh, figure out what direction you should go in. Um, the art department is located in there as long as our, with our Mary S. Bird Gallery and most of our studio classes. And the bookstore is also located in there. There are not only artists um, locally who come and showcase their work in the Mary S. Bird Gallery over in Washington Hall, but student work is rotated um, throughout the year, especially when seniors are doing their senior exhibition. One of the best places about this campus is just the new amphitheater that they have. It's probably two years old at best, and they've had a lot of concerts here. One night, they gave out free Moe's, so I got free food for a night. They didn't even know about it. They have a midnight breakfast that they do here during finals week that is always helpful to a struggling student. You know, go out there on a beautiful day like today, and go out there and get some rays, you know, get that suntan going on. You know, study outside in a beautiful, you know, warm day, you know, nothing better. We have Chris Berry Fieldhouse, which we host our basketball and volleyball games. Front and center, we have the baseball field as soon as you drive up to the right. We have the softball field also right beside Wrightsboro Road. The Forest Hills Golf Club is also open to all ASU students um, with Valley Jack Card. It is the home of our um, Division I two-time national championship men's golf team. We do have wonderful golf practice facilities, which is also accompanied by a golf house, which happens to be one of the best in the nation. So right now we are in the gym, Chris Berry Fieldhouse. You can see right behind me, this is where the magic happens on the court. This is where opponents come and get punished. We blacked out USC Aiken, and we won that game, and then we rushed the court. That's got, that's got to be my most memorable moment on Chris and Barry Fieldhouse. What I like about having classes over here is uh, the practicality of the teachers, getting you involved. Not only do we sit through the lectures, but we also are very active in our studies. Like we learn about the motor skills or the exercise psychology, the things that we're learning. We actually go out and apply those on the field um, with teachers, with shadowing others things like that. So when we come out here, we're able to practice what we're learning in class. I'm from Atlanta, and I went to a very, very big high school. And um, almost everyone that I know went to a school around there. And I knew someone down here. I came to visit her one summer, and I got to see the campus, and I fell in love with it and the history that it has behind it. One thing I always remember about my student life is just um, having the ability to connect with the teachers here because a lot of other schools and universities you don't have the chance to connect with your teachers and because of the student ratio here you have a chance to actually connect with your teachers um, just to get a better understanding about life and what it means to be a student and so I have a lot of teachers cell phone numbers I can go to their office almost any time they always want to help you out I can just go in there and lay on their couch or um, just sit right next to their desk and have a conversation. And so it's been a pretty remarkable thing that a lot of other universities don't offer. It's just having a very deep connection with your teachers. You feel comfortable, like this is my home away from home. I can come here and I feel safe and I feel like you know I know people. Um, and again, the class size is perfect for me. I've learned so much from you know, not being lectured for 50 minutes. It's so nice to be able to ask questions and to have a discussion type classroom. At other universities, when your psychology professor is doing some sort of outside of class case study, you would either be competing with lots of graduate students or those spots would only be offered to graduate students. Here, because this is mostly an undergraduate campus, um, those positions or those spots are available to undergrads. So when you are applying for graduate school or when you get your degree and you just want to find a job, you can kind of have that to pad your resume, have that experience under your belt and say that you've already done that as an undergraduate. There's a great faculty staff here. Um, I was interested in doing research, which I'm currently conducting now. 
So I know the professors would be willing to um, assist me in that and help me with my honors thesis. Thank you.